Some scientists believe this creature, the fennec fox, is the chihuahua's wild ancestor. Chihuahuas are one of the oldest breeds in the Americas. Some folks say Mexican royalty used the chihuahua as an early hot water bottle. Chihuahuas are definitely one of the cutest creatures on this earth, other than sea otters. <laughs> They love to be carried around and pampered. They're probably the most popular small dog because of that reason. I love chihuahuas. Chihuahuas are beautiful dogs. Chihuahuas are the smallest breed of dog in the world. As such, they are the ultimate lap dog. Those large, dark eyes practically beg us to pick them up. This is Willie, and he's the smallest dog in our group, and Willie weighs two and three quarter pounds. Their coats can be tan, red, black, white, or splashed. Their heads can be either apple or deer-shaped. Under the hood, Mother Nature has packed the largest brain of any dog on the planet relative to its size. This is a dog that can be taken out by pretty much every other type of dog. So it has to be really hyper aware and hyper astute in terms of learning how to avoid issues. Chihuahuas are the only breed with a malara or soft spot on the crown of its head. It stays with them for life. As if they weren't baby-like enough. They love riding together. Chihuahuas are also known for their radar dish ears, which help them get rid of excessive body heat and identify predators and prey with exceptional sensitivity. But their ears don't always look like this. Nope, when they're puppies, they lie flat, like this. But the main reason humans go gaga for chihuahuas is their heart. Chihuahuas tend to be a one-person dog, and they really bond with their owners. They're portable, they're loving and sweet, and they're very protective of their owners. Chihuahuas are great dogs to own but they can be high maintenance. And chihuahuas should never be left alone in a yard. To birds of prey, it's not a dog, it's lunch. Chihuahuas also suffer from a lack of self-knowledge. They have that false sense of toughness and will bolt and run up to, say, a pit bull on the trail, and that pit bull will just, you know, treat it like a, like a salty snack. And owners have been known to love these fragile creatures a bit too much. Some cake. Overindulgence can lead to obesity, which can trigger diabetes and dislocation of the kneecaps. But compared to other dogs, the chihuahuas may be one of the healthiest breeds around. They are low shedders and a breeze when it comes to grooming. I just throw my dog in the sink, put a little powder on him and call it a day. Low body fat and a fragile frame give chihuahuas low scores for adaptability to the environment. A chihuahua is great in many situations, but they are prone to getting cold. They are not a great cold weather dog. They do best in warmer climates. And what about families? They generally are not great dogs for families with young children, um, if only for the fact that it's hard to supervise kids 100% of the time and make sure they're not picking that dog up and potentially going to drop it on the ground. You know. Stay. And finally, Sit. training. Chihuahuas are easy to train if you start early, but they can be a nightmare to train if you wait two or three years. So people start early, start early, start early. Preventative medicine is the way to go with this animal. So, in general, the breed is sensitive to hot and cold climates. Chihuahuas are very healthy. They are low maintenance, easy to train, but they work best with older children. Down.